Welcome back to Joe's Pool School, and today we're talking about missing shots. I know you're excited, I'm excited, we're gonna miss some balls. But the good news is, I have some tricks and tips and tips and tricks for you to stop missing some of these shots. Because there is always a reason you miss, and Believe it or not, most of the time, if you miss a ball, it's because something moved uh, in your stroke. Either you stood up weird, you put weird English on it, you poked at it, you steered the ball, you moved your hips, you looked up and looked over to see if you made the ball. All those things are actually why you miss shots. I don't know if you can see my head. Well, whatever. You can hear me. That's what matters. Um, so a shot like this, it's easy to miss this shot in this manner. Now, why is that? Okay, well, I didn't mean to make it over there, but <laughs> I'm just that good. Um, now, why did, I, why did I do that? Well, part of the trick and part of the thing this is difficult, part of the reason this is difficult is that um, if you're shooting it at this angle, your eye has this line guiding it to the pocket, so it's actually helping you aim the ball. When you're this way, you've got a huge amount of empty space and no guide rail. You can't see, if there was something like this while you were shooting the ball, it'd be infinitely easier to make it, right? So because of that, when you go to shoot it, it's really easy to undercut it or overcut it because you don't have that guide. So here's what I wanna get into. Um, the thing with shooting a ball is you really wanna make sure that your brain is getting the right image before you shoot. So oftentimes if I miss a ball, I get ready, I'm like, all right, I wanna shoot that four ball in. I get my stroke ready and I get down to shoot the ball, but the problem is now that I'm down, something doesn't look right, okay? So as I shoot, I might actually, I might actually steer my cue to subconsciously try to move it into the direction that I think it needs to go and if you're steering, that means that you actually have set up incorrectly. Um, when you shoot a ball correctly, you should feel like you can literally close your eyes and shoot straight and make the ball. So anytime that you actually steer, it's actually an issue with your setup and nothing else, literally. Either you, either you don't know the shot or it's your setup and then the execution of that. So in this situation, what I really wanted focus in on here is, you know, there's, you know, you, I'm, maybe you're familiar with, but you've heard like, don't cross the line. So like, if you're trying to make this ball in this pocket, you want to make a ball that allows you to land within this window here of the four ball, because then you're coming into the four ball, you're not going across the four ball, right? So the same rule applies when you're getting ready to shoot the ball. So if this ball goes here, you're like, okay, that's where I want to aim. What you don't want to do is you don't want to swing over and then try to find that spot again and then get down and shoot it because you can miss it like this, right? That's how you can miss that shot. Well, the secret to being a consistent ball maker, shot maker, is whatever, so what I want you to do is stand back, look at your shot, like, okay, that looks like the angle that'll put it in the pocket, and then you can picture where the cue ball is gonna go, etc. What I want you to do is get, get your cue ready, turn your body, and when you're, when you're still seeing that shot correct, I want you to go straight down without moving anything and shoot straight. Do you see how that works? I didn't have to move anything, I didn't have to adjust anything. So every single shot that you make should feel like that. It should feel like you're just literally shooting straight. If you feel like you have to, you know, manufacture something or do some sort of secret thing to make the ball, you're just not setting up correctly. So if I'm cutting this ball, I'm not gonna be like, well, that looks right if I'm standing here, but then I'm gonna get my stance, I'm gonna move sideways, I'm gonna move sideways again, I'm gonna move sideways again, and then get down and hope that I'm still right. No, 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 no. Stand back have your cue in your hand with your bridge already formed. Look at the shot. Okay, that's where I need to be. Staring at the object ball, 
You're just going to come straight down. Your head should not move. And shoot straight. Do you see that? There shouldn't be any movement. And I know for me, when I'm missing a ball, it's because something moved. So you're like, oh, I don't know about this cut. I might have to give it a little bit of extra whatever. And you're going to miss this ball to right there because you think you actually need to do more than you do. Um, so like rather than that, like if you know you want to use top left and come around like this and land down here, you already pictured that. Now you know about how much top and left you're going to need. So picturing how much you're going to need, you're still looking at the shot. And when you're ready to shoot it, okay, when you're ready to shoot it, you're going to come straight down and shoot straight. Do you see that? You can scratch with so much style. You can scratch with so much style like cats are jealous, right? Dogs are jealous. Wow, that dude's... Okay, anyway, I'm getting off track. But the point is, no matter what your shot is, you want to get it in your mind and just turn your body into it, still envision it, come straight into the shot and shoot straight. So I hope that helps you. It definitely takes some practice, but I want you to notice if you miss a ball, why did you miss the ball? You always have to know why you missed. If you want to stop missing, you have to know why you missed in the first place. And to know why you missed in the first place, you have to be willing to put your ego aside, humble yourself, and actually examine your game and go, why do I miss this shot? Be someone else about it. Just look at it and go, I missed this ball because I did this, or I stood up as I shot it, or I shot and looked to see if I made it, and by looking, I'm actually pulling my cue with me. I mean, you, if you know why, you can slowly eliminate those errors. And truthfully, if you, if you do what I just suggested on every single shot, where you literally just look at it, you have your line, you come straight down and shoot straight, you should rarely miss the ball. I'm just telling you, it's, pool is a game of mechanics. And there are a lot of other things in place as well. But when you scroll through and see fundamentals on every single training video, book, uh, you know, professional instructor, just hammering home your fundamentals, your fundamentals, get them right. The reason that they're saying that is because if your fundamentals are betraying you, you'll miss shots. And if you don't study why you're missing shots, you're just going to get frustrated and go, well, I don't know, I just miss sometimes. Well, yeah, you do miss sometimes, but if you're missing a ball, there is always a reason why. There's always a reason why. If you ask the question, you can find out the answer. If you don't ask the question, you'll just keep missing. If you want to keep missing, maybe this video isn't for you. But I think most of us are in the same boat of, I'd rather not miss. I'd rather be somebody who shoots 50 balls and misses twice. And the people that do that are people that have rock solid fundamentals. It might look funny when they shoot, but to them, everything is consistent. If you want to be a consistent player, you have to shoot consistently. How do you shoot consistently? You have the fewest moving parts that are available. You see your shot, you get ready for it, you come straight down, you shoot straight, the game gets way easier. So that's from me to you. Hope it helps. Leave me a comment if it was helpful. And if it wasn't helpful, you can still comment and be like, you know what? I don't like your orange shirt. And uh, I didn't like your scratch joke about cats. That's fine too. You know what? This is still for you. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. And thank you so much.